teacups we are back this is part two of the uh response video react video for uh sala cheating on foodie um if you haven't watched part one i will try and remember to link it down below i've just taken a little break because i needed to a go get myself another cup of coffee it's quite late right now it's about quarter to nine and I was like, I don't really want to drink coffee this late. I won't sleep, but I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. So there we are. We are sacrificing sleep today because I'm already late. I have taken the file off my phone so I can continue to record without it crying at me. But I haven't yet edited the footage that I've just filmed. So Salah put out this um, community post. And I'll just put it up here while we read. Hi all, I know I'm the last person you want to hear from right now, but I want to apologize for my actions. The main one being that I hurt and betrayed my wife, I swear, and I even admitted in the screenshots that before this incident, I never spoke to or even accepted requests from other women. I have certain fetishes I repress and I felt ashamed to tell my wife about them in fear that she might find me weird and leave me. I will not make excuses for my actions though, just try and explain where I'm coming from. I am also sorry for disappointing the Beezers and to anyone who never thought that I had this side to me. I am a good man and would never hurt anyone in real life. This was all supposed to be private and fetish talk only. From now on, I will always communicate my feelings with my wife. Baby, I love you, sweetheart, and I am so sorry. I will tear my arm off before I ever hurt you again, and I will do whatever it takes to get you back. I miss you and since you have been gone, I have been so lonely and messed up. I'm sorry I let everyone down because everyone now thinks I'm a cheater and a bad person. You you are a cheater. I'm not saying fetishes are bad, but you said some things in there and cheating on your wife is bad. I did bad things, yes, yes you did. And I am deeply sorry. I will take a long break from the internet. Thank you for listening and understanding. This to me does not sound like it was written by him. Yeah, this sounds like something that together they have put out for damage control. It does seem very much like something Foodie has written because the cadence and the syntax of it does not sound like a second language English speaker. But this, I think they did together. And the fact that she then came out with a video, which is what we're going to react to now, called I still love him no called I love him um frowny face sorry apologies which tells me that after she left from the live she obviously finally answered him or read his messages she has um decided I guess to talk to him and they have come up with this post to help foodie start to save face like I said I've never really understood the deal with Salah and what he's getting out of the relationship we perhaps understand it slightly more now knowing both her and him a little better than we necessarily want to but there is obviously a longer term goal there otherwise I don't think they'd still be playing this game so foodie put out this video I went on YouTube and got a copy of it thank you to the archivists and let's take a moment to react to that hi guys I'm gonna not edit this so there might be pauses and ums and all that crap so anyway I'm gonna follow up to my previous live stream um, where I was freaking out because I learned of some conversation of sexual nature that was going on between um, Salah and um, someone else. Anyway, um, so I did a lot of talking with him and created a community post. Um, probably should have done that before I came to the internet freaking out. The troll heart of me is glad she didn't, but yes, genuinely in a relationship, given the nature of her community, I would have thought talking to him would have been a better idea first. I completely understand with how she is usually, with her historical reaction to things, why she would have come to the internet first. But I have the track record of when something goes wrong, I impulsively go live and just let it all out. And bless you for so, it. So, um, which brings me to um, some reasons I've decided to make the decision I did. Um, I decided to forgive him and... This has since been deleted. And uh, because of things that came out afterwards, we're assuming, but we haven't heard anything yet. 
move on and try to. Um, because, number one, uh, which, you know, you haven't heard very many outbursts from me during this relationship compared to the previous encounter I had with some. That is true. I've always assumed because there are less feelings involved. Salah always seemed like a tool for her own revenge. Look how well I'm doing now. Look, where's your man? Which is all she's ever really wanted. And Salah, for his own reasons, is willing to go along with that. So they're both getting what they wanted from the relationship, it seems. Up until now, anyway. One who shall be for, uh, remain nameless. Um, there's no tea with Salah. There's no... Um, abuse story there's no uh, anything bad he's a- I, I think we have different definitions of bad but they were both satisfied with what they were getting out of the relationship their relationship is weird it doesn't seem to contain any love at all but if they're both getting what they want out of it that was up to them always been treated me like a queen um, he was always been an amazing husband, and this is all kind of shocking for me. And um, I do believe that he loves me, and I say that because then you're an idiot, darling. I don't believe he loves you at all. He's willing to do what you want him to do at the moment, but she's got trust issues anyway. She's never going to trust him again. She's going to be checking his phone. She's going to be following him. Like this, there's, there's going to be nothing. Nothing in the future when it comes to just being okay with him not telling her everything. You can just kind of feel it, you know, when, I mean, also, he, you can love someone and still cheat on them because it, that was my situation. I loved my ex and I still did it. Yeah, you've cheated on them every time except for this one as far as we know. Like, you're not a good example to follow. Oh, I felt bad after, but you still did it and you still kept doing it. And if I was having to learn something from that situation, it would be despite whatever the feelings, he'll probably do it again. I just had needs I couldn't communicate to him. And apparently he's got needs that he can't communicate to you that you've already vehemently said that are disgusting to you that you don't want anything to do with. So what are the odds of this working out well? I had my own issues, and it had nothing to do with my love for him. And I feel like Salah comes from a repressed... And I'm not excusing his actions. Yeah, you are. But keep going, because it doesn't end here. (laughs) I'm not at all. But I'm giving my reasoning to why I'm deciding to work it out. And number one is I love him. I love him... uh, I have no idea if that's true or not. I don't know if she loves the idea of him. I don't know if she loves, up until now, the level of control she's had over him or how much he's willing to show online because the appearance of it has always been more important to her, from what I saw, in my opinion only, um, to anything that might really be going on. As long as she could play pretend, it was enough. And uh, maybe it's still enough, as long as she can wipe this clean and and play pretend. Except things get worse after this, so keep going. Um, Other than this incident, he's been nothing but good to me. And I think, um, I believe him when he says it would never happen again. I would never believe that. You don't get to telling people connected to your so-called wife on the internet that you want to shit on them and say, no, it it won't happen again. No, 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 no. I've gone from this escalation to, to, no, how how could you think I would do it again? You know, he's told me, like, I will hurt myself before I hurt you again. And, um, you know, I just have these fetishes that I've just been so afraid to communicate to you because... You're my wife, and I feel ashamed of that. And I'm like, you're, you can come to me, you know, like, um, I can't promise I can do everything, but... Oh, oh, oh. mental images I don't need. Okay. Um, it's very private and embarrassing. Um, you know, private stuff, but... The private stuff you weren't going to discuss, that private stuff. Okay. You know, as for, I mean, fetishes go, it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you have fetishes. Unless you're upset when you talk about it, in which case it's disgusting. 
yeah just just remember there's hey people get off on different things and it should be a trusting discussion if you're going to have a long-term relationship but also these weren't like small kinks he was discussing these were things you would need to talk about if you were going to plan on being married for the rest of your life especially if it's so important to him that he is reaching out to other people within your, let's lovingly call it a circle, to try and get that need fulfilled. And inviting those people back to your home. When we're sitting here and saying we don't think he physically cheated, really it's only through lack of opportunity. And him coming to tell you was only because he'd already been caught. And where was he in Thailand again when he used to go on walks? Remind me. No matter how... Um, even group ones. I mean, some people like that. Like, if you look at the screenshots, this person came to him and said that they liked that kind of thing. And Yeah, because your husband's an idiot. Because she was trying to bait him, which is a horrible thing to do. But come on. With the community that you have, with everything that went down earlier this year, with people calling your family home, at no one point did he stop and think, hmm, this might come back to bite me. And, you know, um, I don't. So, I mean, that's the thing. So he knows that. But um, I think also it doesn't make him a bad person to have fetishes. He's never uh, abused me or even uh, alert to any of this on, uh, in private life. So she's connecting the idea of a fetish and abuse here. Um, and she's so surprised because he's never abused her. I, I have problems with that connection. I, I am not here for his particular fetishes, but they're not for me. But when you're sitting here defending the idea of a fetish versus how you were behaving in your car earlier, I have some questions. Because the language you're using here is very different. Which is why it's so... <laughs> out of left field for me for it doesn't even seem like my salah you know it's because you don't have a salah you have whatever image he has agreed to put online for you you clearly don't have a meaningful relationship but he's obviously been hiding a side of you know desire that he just doesn't it can't help it um and you know he never did anything in person he didn't show any nudes to this person or anything mm -mm. well this is awkward so after she said this k bella or the, the twitter account she was running released a censored version of uh, one of his nudes obviously we didn't see anything except the surrounding area which ugh, again more than i needed but they very much did I don't know if they exchanged, I didn't see everything, but he sent her some pictures that you, you would not send people. So even in this moment, she doesn't know the full story. She's just going on what Salah tells her, which given how trustworthy he's just been proven to not be, is a choice in and of itself. And I believe that that is probably the reason this video has now come down, because those were released... And then it was like, oh, no, I'm being completely honest with you now. But um, also, I may have done a bit more than I thought. So I'm guessing at this point, she went and actually looked up the screenshots. I'm guessing. I certainly would have. Anything like that. Um, just conversation, which is still cheating, I know. But conversation and barking, apparently. There are some things I don't need in my brain. I'm trying to be mature and understanding, and this is my marriage, this is real life. I don't wanna just give up too easy. Uh, you know, if there's love there, I think it's worth working on it. If would be the operative word there. I'm at least giving another try. Um, I miss my family. I don't wanna ruin our family, you know, just. Your family is him and two pets that you seem kind of iffy about. And remember, when you went to him, you got rid of your two pets. So clearly the bonds aren't unbreakable. I'm not saying I ruined it. I know his actions did, but um, I feel like he's really sorry. And 
I do love him, and I more for you. Just don't know how I can live without him. Um, and financially, probably I'd have some questions, but I've never really understood people that stay with cheaters. I know people do. I know people try and work past it. It is an end game for me personally, and obviously people have different uh, responses to it, but. I do not understand where this is coming from. I'm guessing just desperation. Because if she doesn't have this, what does she have? My life, because he's been so good to me, like I said. Um, so I'm willing to give it another try. Um, we'll, okay. we'll work on that in private. It will never be private. Ever, ever. Because she will not be able to handle this. On her best day... She is incredibly jealous and incredibly suspicious and over the top when it comes to how she responds to the possibility of the people she's with having lives outside of her. We have seen evidence of this in the past. So now add on the fact that there's actual proof that he stepped out on her, she's not going to be able to handle that at all. So what's she going to do? Go back live with it without reacting the same way she did with um, Nada and the same way she has told us she reacted with all her other boyfriends, which I just don't see her capable of that kind of change. And even with Foodie, I don't necessarily think she should do that. Like, she's got terrible relationships with people. But if you suspect your partner is cheating, I don't think you should live with that. But they don't have any real depth in their relationship that we can see that would make it worth fighting past. She didn't have trust before this started. She's certainly not going to have it after. And how long is that really going to last, knowing what we know of her personality? She'll either blow up because she suspects something is happening, or she'll blow up because something happened. Because if he weren't capable of doing that to her, he wouldn't have done it. He's trying to prove to me that, you know, I can trust him again and it takes time. Okay, what kind of proof is he trying to show you? Because she already said that she checked his messages, remember? He just showed her everything. So clearly he's got the ability to hide it. Like, what, what exists that would be able to help you here that couldn't be changed later? But, um... I mean, he's shown me many, like, I've, anytime I shouldn't have do this either. It's not good to do that, but looked at his phone, and he doesn't accept any messages from anyone. Except this woman, apparently? Like, you've got screenshots, you're putting them up. Oh, I don't accept them, I don't accept them. But you, you did accept them. Because Kay Bella put up the screenshots. You accepted them, you voice noted, and you sent nudes. Like... Clearly, he may have a path to do this that you are not in control of. Are you just going to trust he's not going to do it again? I feel like it won't work. And the fact that you were checking his phone before this, yes, shows a certain lack of trust. You know, like I have the screenshots here. Um, there's like somebody who's like a huge hater and they always, they're they trying to talk to my husband. What is wrong with you people? Well, someone who's a huge hater apparently succeeded in talking to your husband. Maybe your husband shouldn't talk to them. And for the person who reached out to Salah to do this, and I'm not saying Salah should have never answered, but you're disgusting yeah. and you're fucking pathetic and you... Yep. Um, these could all be true things, absolutely. I've got some serious side-eye for the girl who did it, but also it takes two to tango. So there's no innocent party here. Needs therapy more than I do. <laughs> I don't to do that. But anyway, I really don't know what cult you're looking for, but good luck. Anyway. Well, apparently it's done whatever it needed to do for the moment. Um, so yeah, I don't know if anyone's been in that situation where you are married and you have a family. It's not kids. I was going to say, like, it's a little bit different. <laughs> but to us, our pets are family, okay? Um, I don't want to see it destroyed so quickly. I want to give it another try and... You know, we promised, um, no matter what, um, to communicate with each other our wants, our needs, our desires. And how's that going for you? Um, and yeah, I know the type of fetish looks bad, but, I mean, he wouldn't hurt a fly in real life. If it's consensual kind of fetish, there's nothing wrong with that. Then why did you call the other woman a trashy whore? 
Why did you say the fetish was disgusting? Why did you use the language you used? Either it's okay or it's not okay. You know, it's taboo, but it doesn't make a person a bad person, so. Unless you're doing it with a husband. Um, if you want to unfollow me, if you want to cancel me, whatever, go for it. Uh, Hold on, I'm not canceling you for this. I'm watching you for this. This is interesting. And yes, to everyone who goes into my comments after this, I'm aware that she's aware of what she can gain from that interest. All right, I make money off her. She gets to make her own cash. Um, I do appreciate you guys listening to me earlier. It really oh, means a lot. You are welcome. <laughs> you are absolutely welcome, friend. And... Um, don't worry about me. I'm, I am wiser when it comes to relationships, actually. But... Really? Is why is the first word we'd use? Having rebounded from nada and the year-long whatever that was to a three-week courtship and a move to Kuwait, would we use the word wise? Is that the best descriptor of this situation? Which is why I'm trying to be mature about it, you know, because weighing everything else against everything, like with our relationship. I want to know what she was weighing there, because sometimes people are shit and you get to call it them, you get to cut them out. You do. And this is a situation where I definitely would. So people are different. Like people get past this in their marriages, they move on. I understand that. But Mature doesn't always mean living with it. And the fact that she didn't learn that concerns me. I think it's worth another try. The love is there. Mm. And the way he treats me is phenomenal. Um, he's right up until he messages another woman and tells them all the things he told her. It's not perfect, you know. But everything else was so real. Everything about how he would treat me online, the mushy stuff, he's like that in real life. Yeah, you just have to fake love me. And if you fake love me, everything's fine. Um, and I don't, just don't think he could, knew how to approach me. Like, maybe he was ashamed of that side of him and he didn't want to bring it to his wife, you know? Like... I don't think, I think he's scrambling for any explanation he could possibly come up with because he got caught. Our, I'm not supposed to talk about our sex life and everything, but our, you know. If you were not meant to talk about your sex life, maybe he shouldn't be sharing his sexual fantasies outside of loophole wedlock with the woman that he was inviting into your bed. Maybe that, maybe it's a two-way street. Life like that is, intimate life is just more loving and passionate, not so, like, fetishy. So, yeah. Um, anyway, it's for us to work on in private. I, I'm just sorry this happened, but... Why is, she, I mean, she's sorry because it's online, obviously. She doesn't want the audience, except now it's out there, she may as well have the audience, but... Like, in this case, she is not the one who did something. And I, I will fully give her that credit. Like, this was Salah and whoever he was stupid enough to message. I'm strong. I think I can understand it from a different viewpoint that a lot of people probably wouldn't. Uh, because you've been a cheater in every other relationship. Yeah, that would give you a perspective. Like, oh, you shouldn't give him another chance. He's so horrible. I don't think he's horrible. He's been nothing but good to me and supportive. Until this? He was good until he wasn't. That sounds familiar. And, you know, taking good care of me. Like, really good care of me in ways that most people will never believe, but I'm done trying to prove my... Anyway, that... Ooh, she cut herself off there. Do I believe she's completely dependent on him in Kuwait? Yes. And when she came back to Canada, even though she's been independent in Canada, well, with exception of Pete's, like, she was saying how much harder it's going to be for her to be in Canada and how she's dependent on her husband. She has learned this helplessness, and it does not do her credit. That's all I have to say for now. Um, I think we're going to take a little small break from the internet. I'll catch up with you guys soon. I don't know. 
Um, my cameos again are open, but as I for- could not do a video without shilling cameo, even this one. For videos, um, maybe in the new year, but I just want to work on my family right now. Um, you know, still obviously very heartbroken, but the way I love this man, um, I don't want to just throw him away because he's very valuable to me. And valuable is an odd but appropriate word here because I think if there were real feelings, she would have come up with a different word. But valuable is actually true here. He is valuable to her. And I recognize that people make mistakes when they're lonely, um, you know, and, and I just, they have this, these desires that they just feel like they can't communicate to anyone, so. I don't believe this for a second. He could obviously communicate it to the woman he invited into your home. So he didn't want to do it with you is a little bit different. It's easier to do it behind a screen and in messages. It's discreet. Like, I just, I kind of get it. <laughs> I'm surprised. I hope well, you have cheated before myself that I kind of get it and I know it seems like I'm excusing behaviors. Yes, it does. I'm definitely not. Yes, I'm you just are. trying to understand them. I'm trying to understand, you know, it comes from a very sexually repressed culture. Um and the religion can be too. So anyway, thanks for listening guys. See you later. Okay. So that was Foodie's video. Now, given Foodie's personal history and the fact that apparently they share everything with each other, if you were going to go to anybody about it, I would imagine Foodie would be your safest bet. Apparently, that's not what Salah wanted. But that is not where this ends, friends. So, during that video, um, the Twitter account posted the dick pic and... Um, said, no, 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 oh, it was just talking. No, it wasn't just talking and, and released some information. And at some point, the videos came down. I would have been asleep at this point. Uh, she said in her community post, hi guys, I privated my previous video. Um, I'm confused and just need some time away to myself to figure things out in my life. So the initial rage video um, came down and then the I love him video came down as well. I'm not sure which one came down first. I feel like it might have been the I love you because of the dick pics. And then Foodie posted on her community, before I leave for a long while, remember she was going to leave anyway until the new year, so I'm guessing she'll be back in the new year. I want to say that having a fetish, no matter how taboo, does not define a person or make them a criminal, unless you're the woman in this situation, in which case. A lot of people have secret fetishes, Salah has never, ever once treated me badly other than the infidelity in this one case. Well, that seems a pretty big case. He was never abusive, that is a low bar, and is not a violent person. Again, same thing, not a high bar. He has no criminal record of violence and is very sweet and gentle with me. Him being less violent than Nada, I feel should not be the ruler with which you measure future relationships. I feel like there should be a minimum. This isn't a limbo. I'm not defending him talking to someone secretly. However, we need time to try and heal. A marriage, if there is love, big if, and if the good outweighs the bad, big if, may be worth saving. I should never have been impulsive and went live to even discuss it. To the desperate, ugly whore who started it, you are sad and no man will ever respect you. Your flex is that you got Salah's attention, Bitch, he wanted to use you as a toilet. Yes. And what does that say about him? Desperate as hell. Again, the mirror foodie. Anyway, I'm judging by how he has always treated me. He has never been anything except kind and loving. You weirdos let Kia back and she's shacked up with the child pimp. I'm not sure what this has to do with this situation. Different ballpark altogether. We are human beings and mess up. Anyway, regardless, we need a long break to deal in private uh, to tough for now. And that is where we leave this little soap opera. I believe she will go back to Kuwait at this point. If she so quickly moved into like defense mode and um, damage control, I believe she'll go back because the alternate choice 
is fending for herself in Canada and she doesn't seem prepared for it. It seems like it's too hard. And she would rather do this hard thing than that hard thing. I'm not sure why she's choosing that, but I guess just the effort she has to put in will be less if she goes back to Kuwait because I don't see much love in that relationship anyway. But she said the whole community will eat this up and she's absolutely right. So I'm not sure how well she's going to be able to live with that after. I think she probably thinks she'll be able to handle it better than she actually can. But we will see and we'll see if she stays offline and we'll see what happens because until we hear from her again, we don't know where everything is. And frankly, at this point, she could be on a plane back to Kuwait right this second because if she decides to stay with him, she's not going to trust him alone there. However, money could also be an issue for that because she has to get the plane ride home and if he bought her ticket and he's out of money because of it, then do they have the money to do this right now? We don't know. But anyhow, I'm sure she's sitting in a car somewhere enjoying her boycotted Starbucks and thinking of what to do next. So with that in mind, I will see you next time we get an update. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, everybody.